I was born in Malaysia, raised in Singapore, and then I lived in New York, and now I've been living in Beijing for the last seven years. About a year ago, I was approached by Guillaume, uh, who's the director of Lenny Photography, and he gave us an assignment. Uh, and the assignment was 20 euros. And with the amount of money, we can do whatever we want to create an art piece. So I started thinking about what 20 euros meant uh, within a Chinese context. I split the 20 euros into two 10 euro amounts. I converted them to renminbi. And I took half of them. I went to a flea market and I found a seller who was selling gold-plated pendants um, in his shop and he was literally selling that by the gram and so I found the pendant that was exactly the price that I wanted to pay for it with 10 euros and then with the other 10 euros I found that I could go to a local market uh, where I could get 100 mantles. I photographed each of them individually and then I presented them as a 10 by 10 collage. I guess the whole idea behind it is um, questioning uh, what is equal and uh, what would be considered a rational choice. And I think once again, that body of work um, allows the viewer to decide for themselves what's right, what's wrong. We started the Poverty Line project back in 2010. And since then we have covered this in 28 countries, six continents. I get to travel because in my day job, I am a commercial photographer and I go to different countries for assignments. And I think at the beginning, it was really just riding on whoever sends me for assignments or send me for exchange. That's how I managed to um, do this in different countries. I don't exactly choose, but I also realized that uh, we have been very lucky so far um, to go to a lot of countries. But at the same time, there are certain countries that really intrigues me. For example, um, India, uh, very early on, I realized that this is a country I definitely wanted to go and photograph. And so I flew there on my own accord to make sure that I cover the project. Um, and so it seems more, more or less balanced. For the show to be shown as a solo show at the Le Nuit Photography Festival, um, I think it's something that I never really imagined. And I think it gives us a lot of encouragement at the opening, at the Sciences Po talk, we got a lot of enthusiastic questions. We got a lot of reaction from the audience um, who found it surprising um, that um, in what they were seeing. Um, not everyone understood the deeper concept behind the project, but it all intrigued them, which I thought was uh, precisely the point of, um, of art. I really hope that this perhaps is the beginning of the relationship of the poverty line with the French audience.